What's up, guys? I'm here with, um, I'm here with Madden 17 Connected Franchise, or Rebuilding the Bears. We are in week seven going against the Packers, and this is a Thursday night matchup after a huge loss to the 0-4 Jaguars. It wasn't a big loss, but I meant like, like huge loss. I meant it was it was close and bad, but um wait. So if the Packers win this, they are tied with the record with us, and um I'm keeping Jamal Charles just for now and seeing what he could do in this game. And remember, I said. In the bye week, I will see if I want to keep him or trade him. But we are in Lambeau Field. And um, it's, it's night. Thursday night matchup. And it's a rivalry. See if we could win the second straight as we won last year in real life on homecoming on Thursday night. I mean, not homecoming. Um... Thanksgiving on Thursday night, and we are wearing a color rush. Well, they're not wearing a color rush, but they pretty much look like a color rush, and he gets strapped, and that is incomplete. Um, so in the Colts game that we played, um, um, what happened was my plug wasn't, I mean, my mic wasn't completely plugged in, which meant that it, the commentary couldn't continue, but that's a game of 23, so that had no commentary on accident. So now I'm going to make sure I just get the commentary. But um, we can't go to four and three. Uh, oh my gosh, Eddie Lacy with the big game, stiff arm, breaking tackles, breaking tackles. That's like four. four. 34. No, McPhee couldn't even get him. Oh, guys, we cannot get our second straight loss. Okay, um. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He's breaking tackles and he goes in for the 11 yard touchdown. He already has 45 yards. Oh, my gosh. And the Packers have taken the early lead. Block it. Oh, he was going to block it if that guy did not block him. But um, after this game, we're versus the Vikings in week eight. Which that means we're halfway through the season. And um, this is going to go out of bounds at the 25-yard line. So um, we're going to start off with the, uh, with the run. And... To the right, where Clay Matthews is, where Jamal Charles does not care about him, and um, he gets tackled for a loss of one, starting off the game, and um, this defense will be hard to um, score, and we do get a first down. A gain of 21 yards. That was perfect. Five yards after, 15 yards after the catcher net. But this, that was amazing. I mean, our running back is a big receiving threat. If whoever we have, and oh my gosh, are you serious? That's a big loss. A loss of three yards. We're going to run again to see if we could get him a gain of any. And, um, let's see if we can do anything. Jeremy Langford, actually. I did not know that was him. That's a gain of six. So when he rushes, he gets a good game. Which, um, Jeremy, they, they put Jeremy Langford back in. And we're going to get it to Jeremy Langford. For the first down, Jeremy Langford is a glitch. That's a good gain. Both passes were to our running back. Every play was to our running back, actually. But we got to get a big gain right now. Oh my gosh. 
That's a gain of nothing. We can't block. Or I don't know if it's our running back. But now we got a lead blocker, which is our fullback. It's not high overall, but he uses the speed to get to the outside, and that's a gain of, I think, like, eight. Yeah, eight. Um, and this is Junior Lankford. Yeah, we're going to run. Right, because I trust Jeremy Lankford. Oh, Jeremy Lankford, you see? I trust him. That's a gain of nine for Lankford. We're going to hurry up. We're going to do the same play, actually. Because Lankford could get a big gain out of it. And Lankford got another big gain. Now that we brought in a new running back, he's mad and he wants to get a spot back. So, um, can he get the first? No, he will not. So we're going to call hurry up again. And, um, we're going to go with the screen pass to Lankford. And it's third and inches. So get this Lankford, and that will be a touchdown for Lankford. Lankford with another touchdown. And that is a receiving touchdown. It's tied one to one. And it's tied seven to seven in the first quarter at Lambeau Field. Packer, it's hard to beat the Packers at Lambeau Field. But the Cowboys today, but when this is going up, a couple days ago, the Packers got destroyed at Lambeau Field versus the Cowboys. So um, hopefully in real life the Bears could destroy the Packers, which I, I'm not sure that will happen. But um, right, we got we got to use our Vince Wilfork, and we cannot let them score. And um, come on! Oh my gosh! Are you serious? He was wide open. They're not gonna call hurry up, so that will be the last play of the quarter. Um, and I've I'm not sure that we're gonna actually start. Jamal Charles for the net, the game, I mean, for the season. So that will be interesting to see who does better. So we're going to try to give them an equal amount of carries. And really, whoever does better gets the start. Which I'm thinking that. Um, I actually don't know who will do better. Because, um. Yeah, I don't even know. 50 yards already? Second and very short that's a, less than that's a like yard. his third rush. One concern I had about Eddie our Lacy rush, I mean, we got to work on our weight. defense a lot. And I mean, the corners are good. I mean, not corners. Corners are our worst part. Oh, my gosh, look. There he's breaking tackles in there. He's gone. What the heck? That's a huge game. Not just a game, that's a huge touchdown for them. But, um... Okay, we're receiving the ball now. We're down 14 to 7. And that was a horrible kick, a but ja Jamal the Charles is returning. It's a big game. The Bears oh, no. offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And they're hoping oh, to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of Okay, um, I'm going to go with the stretch and see who gets carrying Jamal Charles not on the field. Oh, my gosh. He only has six yards. Now this ball will go to the Jamal Charles again. And I, I don't think I should because we can't lose. So, um, I got to throw it away. And that is, I think that might be grounding. Yep. 
third and 19. Now we definitely can't run. But we have to go in shotgun. Jeremy Langford is in, so he's just third down running back. Jeremy Langford getting the ball. Let's go. Jeremy Langford a gain of 22 for the first down. Jeremy Langford is just better. And I will be counting the receiving yards. And Jamal Charles getting a gain of 28. No, no, 18. It was still a pretty big game. Um, Jeremy Langford is in. And we're going to do with the dot. Halfback dive. And he got a huge gain. And um, he has more yards so far. And we're bringing White in motion. And we're going to run to the outside. And that's a first down. It's only a gain of one. Hurry up. Um... If there was a toss play, he, he would still get yards. But look, it's all green. And now we can rush. And that is a big gain. And 43 yards. So um, if we do decide to trade Jamal Charles, um, we will definitely give Link for the ball. Um, so, I'll probably get an offensive player if I do trade Jamal. We're going to give Jamal the ball. Try to get him a touchdown. And that will be not a touchdown. And that's second and goal. Two minute warning. And, um, Jamal's in. We're going to give him the stretch play. And that will be a touchdown for Jamal Charles. So, um, that's good. And we have only five pass plays and 15 runs. It's 14 to 14 now. One minute, 56 seconds left. And um, Robbie Gold's kicking it off, and we cannot lose this game, which we do get at half. So if they score, that will not be good at all. But um, a cornerback, we, we need cornerbacks, even though they're good. And they have like eight interceptions on this season. No, only seven. And we need to continue that streak. This game... And he's going right there. We have six straight games with interceptions. What the? Yeah, I don't even know what that said. It says something with like auto flip. Oh, I thought they were going spike. Oh, intercepted. Oh, that's a catch. And usually when we get the interceptions, they're either, they're usually in the last seconds, but sometimes they're in Hill Mary play, sometimes last drive, sometimes. Oh, that was almost a sack, but he throws it out of bounds. Second and ten. Um... Wait, wait, um, so... And they should be able to go up and get now, most of the time. Second and ten. And, and um We gotta get the sack intercepted! Intercepted! That's seven straight games with an interception. Third interception for Kyle Fuller. Adrian Amos and Kyle Fuller look to be in the competition for most interceptions for the Chicago Bears or even most interceptions in the league because they both have three right now and um, I'm going to hurry up and um, Jamal Charles is actually showing up and doing pretty good and this could be a really big game right here and when I say that that's a loss of yards and I just noticed he has a, he actually has less yards than Lankford. We got to go for the pass play. No, we got, we're gonna run the ball. Jamal Charles with the loss. We punt it. 
It's just I say we go so for it. Two remaining here before is Lankford in? Because if he is, no, no he's not. The field. They're going on fourth and five. Um. They'll indeed go for let's go. Butler. Miller, let's Miller. Miller. Yes, he, he holds on to it. We're going to call hurry up. Um, we got to get in field goal range to be up by halftime. And, um... Now a play fake here on first down. Get it to uh, Zach Miller. Zach Miller with the big in and get out of bounds to stop the clock. Jake has never thrown it in. Getting carried. I'm not going to. He gets tripped. I've got to call him out. This could be one of the offense. This the whoever's open actually. But oh my gosh, intercepted! That was intercepted. It was tipped and then intercepted. So we won't be getting points on the board. It goes back to back interceptions. Oh. Oh no. And what they call Tom out. Yes, they will. And they will probably go for the Hail Mary for another chance for us to intercept it. And that will be two interceptions. And that will be. We have eight, so we could get nine. Um. And that will be intercepted. No, no, yes, yes, that's intercepted. That's two interceptions in this quarter. We have nine interceptions altogether, which is probably most in the league. We're averaging a lot of interceptions. But the Bears haven't picked off. I mean, before so last the season, the Bears haven't picked off Andrew, I mean, not Andrew Luck, Aaron Rodgers in, like, a couple of years. And, um, no inter Okay, that's not an interception. I can't believe we threw the interception right on the goal line. Well, it wasn't really on the goal line, but... Langford is not in. This is unfair for Langford. But, um... That means, oh my gosh, he fumbles. Okay, at least he didn't. At least it wasn't recovered by the other team. Langford is not getting in any of the carries. We're getting this to Jeffrey. That's Jeffrey. Oh my gosh, that's a gain of 30. He already has 750 receiving yards on the season. Langford yet? No! No Langford. Oh! Um, Langford's only going to come in at third down, so... What he's going to have to do is do really good on the third downs. Um, we want to go to the left because there's less defenders. And, um, okay, that's only a game of two. Um, do we go for, like, a toss play? Um, or do we just get this to Lakeford on the pass? Lakeford is a, is a, a big receiving threat. Okay, we got this to Langford, and that's another touchdown for Langford. His second receiving touchdown of the game. You see, that's why I love Jeremy Langford. And that is good. 21 to 14. We are up against the, the biggest rivalry is happening right now. Which is the Bears and Packers. They're actually rivalry of all time. Oh my gosh, he got juked out of his shoes. Wow. I have super glue all over my fingers. <coughs> Adrian o Amos. And um, whatever the other. Uh, Kyle Fuller. 
are like insane. Combined, they have six interceptions. And then three other players, I mean, and then there's only three. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. Intercepted. No. Adrian Amos almost got that. Ah. Oh. That would have been awesome, three interceptions in the game. That would have been 10 altogether. If we could get 16 interceptions on the season, that would be amazing. Oh, that was almost offsides. Oh, wow, we actually stopped him for a gain of only four. And um, it is second down, six. And the big moves we've made on defense, he has actually not, he's not been getting anything really. So um, I don't know if it was worth it. Incomplete, okay. So um, I mean, they'd be good players to trade. Then um, then we could get some good players out of that. But um, they got one more chance, which is the next game, and then if they don't do anything, they will be getting traded. Okay, um, Kyle Fuller, three tackles, we could go. Um, Adrian Amos is going to get the next interception. I call it. Oh, it's going to be like Kyle Fuller who's going to be beating him, and that is a big game. And um, Aaron Rodgers has two interceptions and no touchdowns, which is big for the Bears. And um, I forgot the second time they scored, and um, we got past the line, but we couldn't do anything, and that's only a gain of one. Oh, Eddie Lacy, I forgot about that that one. He broke all those tackles and went for the touchdown. Second down and nine. Oh, no. Get up. Oh. Um. Oh, come on. That's a first down. It's going to be the last play of the quarter. Now it's going to be the fourth quarter. Wait, will they snap one? No, they won't. Wait, they might. No, they won't. Last. Get, not last game. Um, last play of the quarter. So now it's 21 to 14 going into the fourth quarter. Yeah, we got to get him. No, he can't score another touchdown. Um, Eddie Lacy, only seven attempts for over 100 yards and two touchdowns. We're going goal line. So if we, if we can't do anything on goal line. Um, come on, get him. What the heck was that, Aaron Rodgers? He just made a field goal. Um, we're going to go with same formation because that really seemed to work. It's the most recent. And um, we got Vince Wilfork. And look at um, now that Willie Richard. I, that's not in that. That would be awesome if that Nah, they're going. Um, we got Willie. You know, we got Pernell McPhee guarding Richard Rogers, and he is wide open. You can't put a middle linebacker on any receiver. Oh, okay, 21-21. Still no punts or field goals. Um, we're getting the ball with five minutes left. And the wind is making that kick bad. And um, we got Charles returning because both of our returners are injured. So, um, I mean, we could have him as a returner, but I'd rather have him being a running back. But, um... Let's see if we could get a touchdown for one of our big receivers. And no one, I won't have time. 
So I'll pass it away. And that, what, that was almost intercepted. I was trying to pass it to B, actually, which I'm not sure who that was. But he was getting open. But it probably would have been a bad pass anyways because I was off balance. But um, Jamal Charles with a good catch. Jay Cutler is having one of his games where he doesn't get that much charge, which that's probably because we've been running most of the time. Um, let's go! Uh, break the tackle! Whoa! That, that should have been a first. Because that was four progress. Um, we have, no, we do not have Lankford in. And watch, we're going to end up trading Jamal, and then Lankford's going to be injured. Oh, my gosh, what was that? Oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> can't believe that happened. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just um, that. They had a great air attack going. Did they wow. stick with that? That's a bad pass. And we had to get that first. And now this is intercepted for Adrian Amos. Adrian Amos has four interceptions on the season. It's three in the game for the Bears. That's crazy. And um this is this is Charles going for a big game of over 30. Oh, that's not over 30. Almost 30. This is not even fit. Oh, Lankford is in. Watch, he's going to get a huge gain and be in the lead for the tournament. But remember, he has a lot more rushing I mean, receiving yards. So we got to call her. Oh, they're actually pretty close in yards. Um, we're going to do this counter. And um, oh, that's a gain of one. And now we got to, we can't do a toss. Um, get this to Langford. And that's a big gain. Not that big, but a gain of six for Langford. I oh, need to get them an equal amount of rushes. Because even if we keep Jamal Charles, we're still going to get I mean, Lankford carries. And Lankford is in the lead for the tournament. I don't know if in rushing yards, but with his receiving yards and his two touchdowns. Oh! That's a loss of one. Third down. Let's go Lankford is wide open down the field. That's a big gain for Lankford. And um, that's a first down right before the two minute warning. So um, I need Lankford back in. But um, we're gonna call touchdowns. Five points. No, no. Yeah, five points. And then each receiving yard is one point, and each rushing yard is one point. So um, whoever's in is probably gonna get a touchdown right now on the screen. Um. Oh, intercepted. That's a pick six. That's the second pick six we've thrown. Wait. Will Jamal Charles catch up? Yes, he will. Jay Cutler's throwing his second interception. He has more interceptions than games. We got to get another interception. At least the defense. At least the defense has 10 interceptions in just seven games. And this game is not even over. But we have 132 rushing yards. Which is a lot for both of our running backs. So if we could do that every game. Keep both of our in big game. Then in the one do it. 
the ground <sighs> on third. Oh my gosh, I was outside. Get him! No, that's a touchdown. They're in the lead. 28 to 21 in one minute left. Why is it always like this in our games? So last week it was like this, and we couldn't do anything about it. And we had almost two minutes to go. And now we only have one minute, but we have all three timeouts. This is scary. We're gonna do what did us best, which were the runs. So we're just gonna try to run and try to get the big gains. Wait, we gotta go with the four verts. And Jeffrey is to the left. And if the safety moves in, which he does not. Oh my gosh! Okay, good job. Get out of bounds. Okay, we're out of bounds. Oh. I didn't want to get that sack, and we did get out of bounds to stop the clock. And if Jeffrey... No, wait, not Jeffrey. If only Lankford was in. Because he's a huge receiving threat. And look at Kevin White down the field. Oh, my gosh. That's a huge catch. Injury timeout. Cutler. Cutler's injured. And looks like in some pain. Oh my we'll gosh. Check on his status when we get back. Now the offense lining oh. up first and ten. We gotta bring in Hoyer. Well, it's like real life now. So He's hopefully Hoyer could play He'll like he is in real life. And, and look at Hoyer on the first play he came in. He gets a huge game. And um Hoyer's first pass. And now they're in the hurry up. Will it go for a touchdown? Pass it out of bounds. I couldn't get sacked. Warrior, broken collar, not Warrior. Jay Cutler is out for the game. That means he might be out for more games. Oh! Got call timeout. We only have one timeout because of Jay Color injury. Can offense. Hoyer come in and do this? Okay, <sighs> um. Get this! To Langford! Get out of bounds! Let's go! Oh my gosh! Let's go. That's what they need right now. Get the first down. Oh. Get out of bounds. Stop the clock. Just playing smart football. Jamal Charles is to the left the of Hoyer. And making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Throw it out of bounds. Okay, he threw it out of bounds. Complete with 11 seconds remaining now. Hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but... That's exactly oh my gosh, guys. We gotta go for the screen. The screen doesn't work. We only have like one opportunity. Let's go! No, 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 no. This is our last chance to get this game into overtime. Lankford is in at the running back. Get it! To Langford and no, we lose for the second straight game. Well, Charles, exciting to the very end. That's what we just saw in this game. Final play there. It wasn't the Warriors' fault. Zone, it wasn't Cutler's fault. Ten, that's tough. Trying to put the final play to get in, just, they couldn't do it. It certainly is. So what they were looking for was, you know, extra time. We're it's four and three now. Soccer, right? Where you get a little bit of extra. Warriors first start will be versus the Vikings. And, take that last shot and it looks zone. like we we are tied with the Packers. And the player to win the tournament was Lankford. So guys, stay tuned for the next episodes coming up. We got one more week till trade week, and that will be the end of the trade block. So we are going to make major decisions in the trade block. So, um, thank you for watching. And it looks like those jerseys aren't undefeated anymore. And we are not undefeated away anymore. So next game, Hoyer will be starting for the injured Jay Cutler. So thank you guys for watching. And we'll keep it a secret 
mean, I won't show you guys J. Color's injury yet. You're gonna have to stay tuned and watch watch that. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys all in the next one. Bye.